Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our three tropical cyclones in the North Atlantic Basin, Tropical Storms Grace and Henri, as well as Tropical Depression Fred. And so before I go into details, All right, so let's kick start things with Fred. So we're seeing here that uh, the system is currently located over Georgia and it is accelerating to the north northeast. And so looking at the satellite imagery of it, it is uh, achieving post tropical cyclone status quite quickly. And this forecast is paid before the end of this week. So now let's move on to the National Hurricane Center's cone forecast. So as of right now, Fred has winds of 35 miles per hour and it is moving to the north northeast at 14 miles per hour so it's so it's going to be crossing over georgia throughout today and then by tomorrow it is expected to move all the way up into west virginia right there and then we could have it dissipating uh, as it moves further into pennsylvania but it is going to be bringing that rainfall into the u.s fortunately nothing major is anticipated due to the weakening of the system but it is always best to still take necessary precautions and stay safe as it's going to be making its way by Next, let's talk about Tropical Storm Henri. So looking at the satellite imagery of Henri, we're seeing here that it is a very compact tropical storm and it is located to the south southeast of Bermuda and currently it has sustained winds of 50 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the US southwest at 5 miles per hour. So expecting that general westward like track uh, during the next couple of days and then by Friday, it is going to start that curve to go back out and so as of right now, Bermuda is still under a tropical storm watch as there is the lingering possibility of tropical storm -like conditions in the small island. So fortunately, nothing very major is, is anticipated because Henri is not going to be making landfall or anything. But as it's going to be making its way by, some of that convection can go onshore off Bermuda and result in some inclement weather conditions. And so finally, now let's look at tropical storm Grace. So yes, Grace was a depression and now it has re-strengthened into a tropical storm so looking at the satellite imagery of it right now we are seeing here that it is looking quite uh it is not very organized but it has a lot of convection going on and some of those tropical storm like conditions are just arriving in eastern sections of jamaica so as the system is going to be making its way by or potentially over us uh, conditions are expected to become more dangerous as we go throughout today and so so here is the National Hurricane Center's cone forecast for Grace. And so as of right now, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, parts of southern Cuba are under a tropical storm warning. We have a tropical storm watch in effect for Haiti as well as northwestern Cuba. And then we have a hurricane watch in effect for the eastern section of the Yucatan Peninsula. So that means that we could have hurricane conditions even though we're seeing here that it is expected to remain a tropical storm. There is the possibility that it could bring some hurricane-like conditions to portions of the Yucatan as Grace accelerates into the northwestern Caribbean. And so it is possible that Grace, Grace's center could move over Jamaica or just north of Jamaica throughout today. And so currently in my area it is quite sunny but it's getting cloudy at times as grace is just approaching the island and so as we go throughout today we're expecting conditions to worsen and hopefully things don't get too bad but the worst of it is definitely not here even though the center as seen on the cone forecast is just approaching the island guys so it's all of that convection that you're seeing that dark red going to that black shade right there that is where we have most of the rainfall occurring in the system and once that is going to be making its way over the island then conditions will get seriously dangerous so because of this it is best to stay indoors and not to be in a flood prone area and uh, Hopefully, as I said, things are not going to be too bad as the system is going to be making its way by. And so now let us take a look at conditions that are persistent across the North Atlantic. And so taking a look at the wind shear map, we're seeing here that the wind shear is actually very favorable across uh, the Caribbean as well as the Gulf of Mexico. And so how to know that is because of the is because of the different colors we have the green meaning favorable the yellow meaning neutral and the red meaning unfavorable so when you see a lot of reds it means that 
uh, it is unlikely to have much intensification taking place because that strong shear just rips up our system and then when you have a lot of those greens it means that it is likely that we will have intensification so we're seeing all of uh, those greens persisting across the Caribbean and in the Gulf of Mexico so this is what is going to be aiding in greatest intensification during the next couple of days because it is going to be in favorable shear which plays a huge role when it comes on to a tropical cyclones intensification and then when it moves over into the Gulf of Mexico we could have further intensification before it makes landfall most likely in Mexico but if it moves over the Yucatan then it could weaken slightly but if it moves just north of the peninsula then we could have more intensification taking place with grace and then the possibility lingers that it could achieve hurricane status earlier it was expected to be a hurricane but in the latest advisory we're not seeing that expected anymore but it is certainly possible especially if it's going to be remaining in favorable conditions for just the right amount of time because we've seen where systems are tropical storms and then probably 12 hours later they achieve major hurricane status because the environment is so conducive i'm not saying that will be the outcome with grace but the potential is there that it could even achieve cat one status before either it moves over the yucatan or even when it is in the gulf of mexico once it's there for a sufficient duration of time and so now moving on to the ocean temperature map so we're seeing here that ocean temperatures are also highly conducive right now for us to have intensification of grace in the gulf of mexico they are the warmest uh 31 degrees celsius and in the northwestern caribbean they were seeing some 30 degrees celsius so there is almost no doubt that we will have grace intensifying in the northwestern caribbean and when it moves over into the gulf of mexico along with the fact that the wind shear is also very conducive there so if you're in the Yucatan or anywhere else that is likely to be affected such as in Mexico if you're under a tropical storm watch or warning please take off necessary precautions and stay safe guys do not underestimate the grace just because it is a tropical storm because a tropical storm is enough to cause some significant damages we've seen where we have weak tropical cyclones affect areas bringing a lot of rain causing flooding a perfect example is Imelda of 2019 one of the wettest tropical cyclones cyclones on record in the US and it was not even a strong tropical storm. So guys, please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe if you're going to be affected by grace as this is going to be making its way across the northwestern Caribbean and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. And of course, I will keep you updated on the latest as time goes by. And so if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. Just remember to always be with the wise.